Okay, now question number three from the new P1 paper from January 2019, International A-Level at Excel. Um, we have a question which tells us about a line L1, and the line L1, it has an equation 3x plus 5y minus 7 equals 0. 3x plus 5y minus 7 equals 0. Okay, and they're asking us to find the gradient of line L1. Now, to find the gradient of a line, um, we can express the equation in the form y equals mx plus c, where we basically we make y the, the subject of the formula, the subject of the equation, and then automatically the x term that we have, its coefficient, will be the gradient. And the y-intercept, if we need to find it, will be the constant. So what we need to do is to take this equation in the form they gave us, minus 7 equals 0, 3x plus 5y minus 7 equals 0, and we need to make y the subject. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get rid of the 3x from and the minus 7 from this side, so I'll have 5y, I've got to take away 3x from both sides, and I've got to add 7 to both sides. I end up with 5y equals minus 3x plus 7. Okay, now, I want to make y the subject, so I've got to divide both sides by 5. Now, I could divide the whole, f the whole of this side by 5, but then I won't have separate terms for my x and my constant. So what I'm going to do is divide each of them separately by 5. So you have minus 3 over 5x plus 7 over 5. So we can see here that the gradient is a coefficient of x, y equals mx plus c, that's the gradient. So we can say m is equal to minus 3 over 5. So therefore we can say the gradient of the line, the gradient is minus 3 over 5. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. And now part B. Okay, part B says, find the equation of line 2 in the form y equals mx plus c. Now, what else did they tell us about line 2? Yes, they said the line, the line L2 is perpendicular to line 1 and passes through the point 6 minus 2. So line 2 passes through the point 6 minus 2 and it's perpendicular to line 1. So line 2 is perpendicular to line 1. Alright, so to find the equation of a straight line, we need to know, and we know the gradient of line 1 is minus 3 fifths. Okay, to find the equation of a straight line, we need to know two pieces of information. One is a point on the line, and two is the gradient of the line. So we need to know the gradient of line 2. Now, how are the gradients of lines which are perpendicular related? Well, they are, their product is is minus 1. m1 times m2 equals negative 1. And an easy way to deal with it is just to say basically if you know the gradient of a line then the gradient of the line perpendicular to that is going to be its negative reciprocal. So whatever sign it has changes. So this is a negative so it's going to become positive and the numerator and the denominator are swapped around. You write down the reciprocal of the function. So it's going to be of the fraction, sorry. So you've got 5 over 3. So it's going to be a positive 5 over 3. So that's now enough information for us to now find the equation of this straight line. And I'm going to use this formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now this formula is something which a lot of students in IGCSE they try to avoid, which is fine, it's absolutely fine, no problem. They prefer to use y equals mx plus c. Okay, and there's absolutely no problem with that. However, I would encourage students who are doing AS and A2 to start using this formula as much as possible because when it comes to more complicated types of gradients and x and y values, it just makes life a lot easier, especially when you come to A2 when you've got to deal with pi's and, and e numbers and lin numbers. Getting used to this will just make your life that much easier when you get to it. Okay, so that's why I would encourage when it comes to AS students to start using this formula more. Okay, especially when your gradient is a fraction as well. Okay, so let's see how to use it. Basically, the point that we have is um, x1 is the x value and y1 is the y value of that point. Okay, the y, x and y coordinate. So we're just going to substitute these values in. So you've got y minus, now y1 is the y coordinate, so you're going to have minus... 2, so y minus minus 2 equals m, which is 5 over 3, times, and you've got x minus the x value, which is 6. So this will give you y plus 2 equals 5 over 3 times x minus 6. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. 
to get rid of this fraction. So on this side, I'm going to get 3y plus 6. Don't forget to multiply 3 by the whole of this side. And I'm going to expand the bracket here without the 5 because we've already multiplied, without the 3, sorry, because we've multiplied by 3. I'm going to just expand this bracket. So 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times minus 6 is negative 30. And um, they've asked us to give the equation in the form y equals mx plus c. So we got to write y as a subject of the formula. So we can say 3y is equal to 5x. We've got to subtract 6 from both sides to get rid of this positive 6 from this side. So that's minus 36. 5x minus 36. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So you have 5 over 3x. And you've got minus 36 divided by 3, which is 12. And there we have the answer to our question. Okay, I hope that was quite clear for you. Okay, that's pretty much an IGCSE question actually. Okay, but there we have it. Okay, that's the end of question number, what was it? Number three. Okay.